As America honors those who served the country, we cannot ignore the epidemic of suicide among veterans. Every day, 22 commit suicide, 8,000 per year. Mark Strassman met a soldier whose final mission is to stop this. In July of 2007, Lieutenant Justin Fitch was deployed and depressed in northern Iraq. We lost 15 to 16 people killed in action from our task force. All those casualties yeah. took a toll on you too. Absolutely. It's, it's never good to see someone that was uh, just a good person, you know, hold away on a stretcher with an American flag over them. Fitch hit bottom when his buddy, Lieutenant Benjamin Hall, was killed in Afghanistan. I took my uh, M4 assault rifle and I put it around in the chamber, flipped the selector switch from safe to fire, and um, put the muzzle to my head. How close did you come to pulling that trigger? Honestly, don't know I'm alive today. Fitch got counseling, recovered, and served a second deployment in Iraq. But in May of 2012, while stationed in Massachusetts, his intestines exploded. They discovered a, a bunch of small tumors that spread all over the place. I was told that I had stage four cancer, and it's incurable. Colon cancer. Doctors tell him he has months to live. How are you doing today? I'm all right. He has chemotherapy every other week because the 32-year-old has a new mission. We got this big agenda. We're Stopping military tree. suicides through a group called Carry the Fallen. Last Sunday, 100 volunteers marched the entire Boston Marathon course, 26.2 miles, to raise money and awareness of the issue. It's winnable. Suicide is preventable. You can have an impact and you can see impact. You can feel impact. And that every time that that happens, I feel good. Army medic Denise Florio returned from Iraq in 2004, suffering from post-traumatic stress disorder and traumatic brain injury. She still calls Justin Fitch when she's feeling down. He's got a very infectious personality. Plus, it's nice to have that person who checks in on you and you check in on them. Fitch will get a medical discharge and retire as a major in January. He'll spend whatever time he has left helping keep other soldiers alive. Mark Strassman, CBS News, Boston.